.NET MAUI has been delayed. So what does that mean for .NET 6? Let's talk about what exactly is being delayed and what's still being launched in November. Now, if you're not familiar, .NET MAUI has caused a lot of stir in the C-sharp community. .NET MAUI is actually an acronym. It stands for Multi-Platform -app, multi Application UI. So it means that basically we can create one project and deploy it to Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android. We can deploy it pretty much anywhere. It's a, it's a pretty great concept and it's based upon .NET 6 and the unification of, of .NET, which is .NET Core, uh, .NET, uh, the Mono framework, and also Xamarin. So it kind of brings all those things together. And this is a kind of a UI, but more than that, that goes to all these different platforms natively. Now, I'm look, looking forward to it. In fact, I'm actually wearing my um, .NET MAUI shirt today. Um, kind of as a, I didn't even think about it, but when that announcement came out from Scott, it's, it's a little sad, um, but at the same time, it's also a good thing. So let's talk about what does this delay really mean? Well, the original plan was that we would have .NET MAUI in November. .NET is now on a yearly release cycle, meaning we had .NET 5 last November released. So .NET 6 comes out this November. We've talked before about the fact that .NET 6 is actually an LTS version, meaning a long-term support, which is about three years of support for this version. In fact, there is a, a, a first uh, RC version or release candidate version that's already out. RC2 is coming soon. And those are actually supported for going live or for using those in production. But right now, the .NET MAUI pieces of those are not supported for going into production. So the plan was .NET 6 and MAUI in November. Now what's going to happen, the new plan is that .NET 6 is still coming out in November. It's still the LTS version. It will still have the latest .NET code updates. It will have C Sharp 10. We'll have Hot Reload pretty much everywhere. Those new minimal APIs you may have been seeing everybody talk about. I'll be covering those soon. Um, we're going to have those. The Blazor improvements, the Mono runtime is getting unified with .NET, and we'll have a preview of Maui. Now, that preview is a preview. When Microsoft says preview, what they mean is you probably shouldn't use that in production. And of course, for those of you who are working at companies that are a little conservative, which a lot of companies are, you're probably saying, Tim, I can't get them to get on .NET Core. Gotcha. Don't worry. This is not the time to launch a new model or a new MAUI project. Okay. But it is coming and that's coming soon. So right now that's November. That's C Sharp 10, .NET changes, all that good stuff comes, but not .NET MAUI. So .NET MAUI has been pushed back to roughly Q2, quarter two of 2022. That puts us anywhere in the, oh, April to June timeframe. I'm guessing um, they're gonna wanna release around the May, June timeframe, but really the, I know the heart of the team is gonna be released as soon as ready and not until it's ready. There are basically all the pieces are in place for .NET MAUI now, however, the polish isn't there yet. This is why I say it's a good thing they're not releasing this yet. The, the systems are in place. The, the, the cross-platform is working. There's some really cool stuff you can do right now in demos. But the problem is that there's some quirkiness to it still. There's some um, polish that needs to happen to just make the, the process and the flow better. There's... Um, controls that are in, but they need some improvement. And there's some speed issues and size issues that need to be addressed in order to have the best possible performance of your application. Those are the kind of things that are going to happen between now and launch. So in this time frame, so when .NET 6 releases, the, the advice is still going to be if you want to go and deploy to uh, Mac or deploy to iOS or Android, then you should still use Xamarin. And Xamarin is still supported. It's still part of .NET. It's just 
that slightly different version of .NET, slightly different, um, uh, the, uh, the underlying structure is a little bit different and that's what's getting unified with, with Maui, but it still works and there will be an upgrade path from your Xamarin application into a .NET Maui application. So you're not losing anything here. If you really need to jump the gun now and get something going, or if you have something already in the works, keep going with Xamarin, don't worry, you're still supported. So that's the current uh, way to go forward from now until .NET Maui gets launched. When the launch happens, is still up in the air. This announcement happened today. They're still sorting some things out. One of the questions that I haven't seen answered yet, but will need to be part of this is where will this end up then? What I mean by that is that .NET 6 is the LTS version, the long-term supported version. So when .NET MAUI comes in, which is kind of out of band, it's kind of, it's not part of the main release cycle. So is that gonna come in as part of .NET 6 six months from now or six months from November in Q2? Um, is that going to be part of then the LTS branch or is that going to essentially kind of be a pre, um, a pre .NET 7? We don't have those answers yet. Um, we're going to find out. I would assume that it would become part of the LTS, but I'm not positive. So there are still some questions. Don't worry though. We have time. Again, we have till quarter two to find out a lot more of these questions, find out what's going on, but this really is a good thing. Yes. I know it's disappointing. I actually have a project that I'm really waiting for .NET Maui for. I want to, um, build a project that I think would be really cool, but I want to wait until I have that unification of the platforms. Um, and it's just not ready yet. And I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to try and do something early and then have to change things. And that is something I want to talk about briefly. Uh, I haven't covered the, the new .NET 6 stuff yet on my channel. And the reason why is because things are still changing. The RC1 is out and they're making some um, stability and performance improvements, some um, you know, quality improvements to the, uh, even the release candidate. And then RC2 will be out uh, shortly. Around RC2 is when I'll be really um, starting to show off what .NET stuff will do, .NET 6 stuff will do, because that's when it's the most real world ready. That's when it's, you know, it's ready to go so that when you do get the full .NET 6, you're ready to go. Um, but if you jump too early on something and changes need to happen, it can be breaking changes. And so with this .NET MAUI stuff coming out in Q2, I would encourage you to kind of hold back on doing anything production related. I know that you could be cutting edge, but with cutting edge, things do change. Things do uh, morph over time. So there should be uh, very few of those breaking changes. Like I said, they have pretty much everything ready, um, just not polished, just not totally done yet. Um, there are some, some tweaks coming out as well, but it's still a little bit of a clunky process. I would wait until later on, maybe the March timeframe, uh, maybe February to start really investigating it, learning it. So you're ready to go when it does launch in Q2. All right, so that's the .NET Maui news. We're still getting .NET 6. We're still getting C Sharp 10. We're still getting those improvements to ASP.NET Core, Blazor, um, the hot reload that's gonna go everywhere, the integration of Mono and so much more stuff. Lots of cool stuff coming in November. I think it's in November 2nd to 4th, something like that. We're gonna have um, the, the, the actual launching of the general availability of .NET 6. Can't wait for that. We'll definitely have some cool content around then. Until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And as always, I am Tim Corey.